Well, right here, and today's video is going to be my top 11 boss girl travel um, tips and tricks. So, yeah, so um, if you can't tell, I am a little bit ill because my dad decided to pass the cold on to me. So, yeah, thanks, dad. But anyway, um, so yeah, so these are just a couple of tricks and tips that I do for when I'm traveling because I am traveling. I'm going wrong in July. Travelling in November, me and my sister are actually going to the uh, Festival of the Dead and I'm really excited. So these are some of the couple of um, tricks that I would do, even though it's still in this country, but you can do these for when you're out in like going away to another country as well. So yeah, so um I've got them written down. So you see me taking some pop it's because um my I'm starting to get worse, so you know. So what I want to do is just a little short video um, to tell you my tricks and that lot. We'll leave all announcements at the end of the video. Um, if you're going away sometime this year, then do comment down below and let me know where you're going nice. And if you've got any tricks or tips that you think will help, then do comment down below because you could always help someone else as well. So yeah. That's it. So yeah, so the first one is travel with slipper socks or a pair of socks because um, I, if you've seen in my carry on video that I did last year you'd see that I carried with a pair of fluffy socks and a pair of normal socks because sometimes I wear dollies, sometimes I wear sandals, sometimes I wear um, trainers and if I'm gonna minute. What was I gonna say now? <sighs> yeah. So yeah. So if you're travelling, wear a pair of sandals or dolly shoes because it is quite cold on the plane when you go down, or if you're travelling in car or anything, it is quite cold because you've got the wind both windows open and everything. So sometimes I take a pair of socks with me, or fluffy pair of socks, normal pair of socks, or slipper sandals. Slipper sandals, slipper socks, you know what I mean. It just then you can put take your sandals off when you're on the plane and just put them on and your feet don't stay nice and warm and everything. So yeah, so the number two is travel with um air bone is it? I don't know. It's called air summer. I will put it down below all these tips anyway, so you will see what it is. Um to because obviously when you're on a plane, um it's really tight and enclosed so um when someone sneezes it goes all the way around um so basically it's a plane full of germs so yeah so take them for when you go on id or when you're on id because you don't want to start your id off with having been ill you do not want to do that and guys look at my skin it's actually getting really well really happy anyway back on um subject and then number three will be travel with an empty reusable bottle because we all know the prices of a drink at the airport is like nearly like nine pounds from it or something like that right take an empty reusable bottle reusable bottle but then when you go through checkout and once you get past all the checking parts and the security and everything you can then refill it with either water juice or whatever so yeah so and that is what I'm going to start doing because literally the prices at the um, airport is like, come on, that's the air one. So then, next one is number four, travel with, I couldn't remember, I'm not travel with a couple of um, wardrobe items. So, um, I would pick like three different items that you can wear them in different ways because I say this to carry this in your carry on. Because then if your suitcase gets lost, then you've got a couple of um, outfits to start off the week until your um, your yeah, until your big suitcase, your boy clothes in, it comes back. Cannot talk today, guys. So bear with me. Um, and then packing cable um, cubes. Cable. Packing cubes, these are a lifesaver. If you've seen in my Pack With Me video last year, 
you would have seen them they are amazing because you can get loads of them you can get as many as you want and you can put each one each outfit in one cube because if you get loads of cubes you can put each outfit in each cube which i wish i did now because i kind of ran out of clothes on holiday because you know thought i didn't need that many and i ended up taking on enough so yes yeah, so um yeah packing cubes is a good one um, because if you get loads of them, you can get as many as you want, but if you get loads of them, you can then put each outfit in a packing cube. So, like, you could put the old outfit with the bag and the socks and the shoes and everything in one outfit, in one cube. So then you've got, or then all you've got to do is grab the cube, put that outfit on all together, and then you're not going to be standing there, messing around, wasting time, trying to find what goes with what. So, that is an easy, the easiest way ever. I wish I did that, but I didn't. So, Let's see if we've got any help. Download Google Maps offline because if you go into a new uh, um, a new part of somewhere, like you go into Paris and you've never been before, download Google because you can download Google Maps without using internet. So then, if you use that, you can Google where you want to go and everything and how to get there without using any internet because then you will never be lost unless your phone dies on you and then you will be but anyhow um okay so number seven that was number six number seven pack with one or two gross gro yeah, grocery bags can't talk so basically um when you go on holiday pack a couple of um bags like you could pack food bags you could pack um, grocery bags that you um, use or you could pack like you know the little reusable bags that you can get um, I've got two you could pack a pet one of them and just shove it in your suitcase so that then once you've wore like you could have it as your wet bag so that you could separate clothes that are wet also you could use it as a uh, dirty bag so with all the clothes that you've already wore and need washing you could put them in there because then it separates when you get home, you don't want to be there going through your stuff going, oh, did I wear that, did I wear that, did I wear that? Because then once you've washed something, you can put it in the bag and then it can be washed ready for when you get back home. Because then you're not going to sit there fanning around all your clothes to see what you've actually worn. It's all in that bag. And then eight, bring portable chargers. I do this anyway. Wherever I go, I bring like loads of portable chargers. Where am I, actually? Hold on a minute, they've gone missing. So let me give you a couple of examples. Uh -huh. oh, no. Okay, so this is a couple of examples. This one is the lipstick one that I love. This is from the Avon, so that's a good one. I've got another one down here as well. Okay, so just quickly, I'm going to show you this one as well. This is from the oven as well, so this is what it looks like. It's got where you can charge it in, where you put your wire, and then here it's got like a little light. So this is for good on the night if you're going out clubbing and you can't see where you're putting it in, you can put the light on. And then here's another two that I use. I've had these for ages and I always use them. You can tell how much I've used this one because all the... Um, papers come off so yeah so these two are really good i got these from the little actually got them from the little for 6.99 the both of them well not for both but each so yeah so these are really good you can get portable chargers from anywhere these days amazon ebay even in the local shops even in Meville. and anywhere you can get them from anywhere um you can get them from uh phone places you can get them from Poundland, you can get them from Asda, Tesco, anywhere. So just go somewhere near you, get one sorted. Awesome. Um, pack heavy items at the bottom, which is number nine. Pack heavy items at the bottom because then if you pack them at the top, they're going to they're gonna squish everything 
but if you pack them at the bottom, not only will it not squish stuff, but also it will um, keep your suitcase level so it won't fall or anything. Because I literally this one is one that I did last year, and I spun out that I should have just packed them at the bottom. I didn't, but you know, hey ho. Number 10, carry around. Oh yeah, sorry, I had a little moment then, I can't remember my writing. So, tie a little ribbon around the top of your bag, of your suitcase or your bag. Because if you have a suitcase, if there's going to be loads of people going on a day and they all have different suitcases. But if you find someone that has the same suitcase as you, you need to put a ribbon around it so you know what bag is yours, even if they don't. Still put a ribbon around it or put some set of tape on the top of the handle, put your initials on, sorted. Because then you know that bag is yours, you haven't got to go through loads of bags just to find yours. Because then if you see that ribbon, you know that's mine and you can take it straight away. Because that was the biggest problem when I was on holiday, picking the suitcases. Oh, took forever. Then the last one, which is number 11, travel with, with an extension need. So I suggest this because instead of taking loads of, um, you know, because obviously different countries have different plug sockets, so instead of taking loads of converters, all you'd have to do is take one, pull it, um, pull it into the end of extension lead, and then just plug all your plugs that you need in, and then that's it, sorted. You only need one converter with an extension lead, and then you can plug everything that you need to plug in. So yeah guys, so that is my travel um, tips and tricks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I am now going to go and lie down because I'm going a little bit light headed. So yeah. So yeah, so that is my top 11 boss girl uh, travel tips and tricks. So if you have any other ideas of what you wanted me to do for this boss girl, um, Sorry. for this boss girl ep separate episode and then do comment down and let me know also comment down and let me know where you're going this year and if you have any tips or tricks so yeah also don't forget to like subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when I upload also if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not on video my social media links will be down below um, but um, I would say they'll be in the outro as well but do not go in the outro part because I haven't switched it over yet, so yeah. But the best bet is to use the links down below because they've got they'll connect you straight to my proper um one. So yeah, so I will see you guys in my Wednesday's video. I hope you all have had a fabulous weekend and I hope you all have a fab week. See you in a bit guys.